Problem 9.1-2. A wood beam is to be used to support a point load of 1,400 pounds. The beam will be made using two pieces of standard lumber, 2x4s, 2x6s, 2x8s, or 2x10s, as shown in the detail. Assuming that the actual dimensions for the lumber are all a half inch smaller than the nominal dimensions, in other words, a 2x4 has actual dimensions of 1.5 inches by 3.5 inches, what's the smallest lumber you can use if the allowable normal stress is 2 KSI? Here's the beam. There's a point load shown with dimensions given. We can see from the detail that there'll be two boards stacked side by side with the long dimension uh, in the vertical direction. I'll begin by drawing a free body diagram of the beam to solve for the support reactions. And uh, I've called the reaction on the left A, the one on the right B, and summing the moments about point B equal to zero, we can solve for the reaction at A. It is equal to 466.7 pounds. Now I'm going to draw the shear diagram. So drawing the shear diagram, units of pounds, here at AY, we have a jump up to 466.7 pounds. And we remain constant, 466.7 pounds for 6 feet. Then we will jump down 1,400 pounds. We will end up at negative 933.3 pounds. We will remain constant over the next 3 feet, and then we will jump back to 0. So the reaction at B must be equal to 933.3 pounds. So our maximum shear, we can see from the shear diagram, is 933.3 pounds. I don't show the negative sign because it's the magnitude that's most important to us. Now let's draw a bending moment diagram. Now looking at our shear diagram, uh, in order to draw the moment diagram, we see that uh, we have a positive uh, value of 466.7 pounds on our shear diagram. That means we'll have a constant positive slope on our moment diagram of 466.7 pounds. And that is going to... Uh, take us up to over 6 feet to a value of 280 pound-feet. That's the area underneath this uh, shear diagram. The last 3 feet of our moment diagram will take us with a negative slope back to zero. So the max moment that we'll be using to design the beam will be 2800 pound-feet. The next step is to calculate our required section modulus. That's equal to our max moment divided by allowable normal stress. Our max moment is 2,800 pound-feet, and we need to convert that to inch-pounds. So we're going to multiply it by 12 inches per feet. Our allowable stress was given in the problem. It is uh, 2 KSI, which is equivalent to 2,000 pounds per square inch. And that gives us a value for our section modulus of 16.8 inches cubed. Now we don't have a table for section modulus values for the beam that we're going to be using. And if you recall, we're going to be using two pieces of lumber uh, stacked side by side. And uh, these are our options shown here. So we need to find the section modulus for these various uh, beam uh, options. And section modulus is equal to the moment of inertia divided by C, that's the distance from the neutral axis to the for this point. For rectangles, it can be written this way, where BH cubed over 12 is the moment of inertia, and C is just half the height. This reduces to BH squared divided by 6. So we can use this to calculate the section modulus for our various shapes. So I'm going to go ahead and create that table of section modulus values. Now I'm in the process of constructing a table, and I've listed the nominal dimensions for our lumber choices here. And uh, the problem statement said that the actual dimensions were one half inch less than the nominal dimensions. So I've written a table of the actual dimensions. Now I will calculate section modulus for each of these uh, potential cross sections. Using the equation that we derived above for section modulus for rectangles, I can calculate the section modulus for each of the uh, potential sections that we're considering. If we recall that uh, we're going to to stack two pieces side by side to make our beam, then when I calculate section modulus, the base dimension will be 2 times the narrow dimension of our member, because there's going to be two boards. 
So it will be 2 times 1.5 is our base dimension. And the height dimension that we square is the, uh, is the long dimension here, 3.5 inches, divided by 6. And we get values for section modulus. And we'll do this for all of the four possibilities. And now that we've got a section modulus, we can compare that to our required section modulus, which is 16.8 inches cubed. So we need to pick a, uh, a beam that has a section modulus greater than 16.8 inches cubed. And if we look at our options here, it looks like a 2 by 8 would be the best choice, because uh, 2 by 6 is just a little too small. Normally at this point, we would check the shear strength of the, uh, of the cross section, but since no information was given about allowable shear stress, we'll just neglect that. So our design is to use two 2x8 two boards, and we're done.